Hebrews chapter 11, the faith chapter. So you've heard of the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame probably, or the Country Music Hall of Fame. Well, this is the Faith Hall of Fame. So we could call it the Hall of Faith. And these are the heroes of the faith who are in Hebrews chapter 11. What is faith, first of all? Well, faith is believing. Faith means believing. Believing what? Believing what God says. And what else? And if you believe something, you have to act on it, which is obeying. So faith is believing and obeying what God says. All right, so we'll start in Hebrews 11, verse 1. Faith, or believing, means being sure of what we hope for, being convinced of what we do not see. Well, what do we hope for? And what do we not yet see? The kingdom. I had to put this picture up because I thought it was so lovely. <laughs> we definitely don't see that yet. I have never seen a lion <laughs> looking at a lamb like that and not wanting to eat it. That will be in the kingdom and it's not now. That's what we hope for. All right, so let's go forward in Hebrews. So the Hebrews writer starts with the beginning, which is, of course, a very good place to start, as this old song says. In verse 3, he says, by faith or believing, we understand that the ages were set in order by God's word, so that what is visible was made out of things which are invisible. So God's word, which means God had a word, he spoke. He said, let there be light, and there was light. And let there be a lot of other things like sun and moon and stars and animals and flowers and everything that we see, everything that is visible, it says, these were made out of things which are invisible. God is invisible to us, but he made everything that is visible that we see around us. All right, then we move forward in Hebrews to our first hero of faith. And this is Abel. And you remember you had a lesson quite recently about Cain and Abel, which is a terrible um, account of the first murder ever in history. This was Adam and Eve's first two sons, and one of them killed the other. Cain killed his brother Abel. So the Hebrews writer says, by faith or believing, Abel offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain, his brother, and God showed that Abel was right by receiving the gifts he offered, and through faith he, Abel, though he is dead, he still speaks. Well, of course, he doesn't really speak. He is dead. In fact, Cain killed him. And Cain is also dead now because this was a long time ago back in Genesis. But he still speaks because we're still learning about him and learning about his faith, Abel. So he's speaking to us, but not really because he's definitely dead in the dust of the ground. Okay, so that's our first hero of faith, Abel, who was actually killed by his brother Cain. But he's still a hero of faith because he offered to God a better sacrifice than Cain. All right, the next hero of faith that the Hebrews writer mentions is Noah. By faith or believing, Noah listened to God's warnings about things that he could not yet see, like rain. He didn't see it yet, but he listened to God. He obeyed God and built an ark to save his family. By faith, Noah showed that the world was being judged. And notice that word judged. And that is a picture, I believe, of the Ark Encounter in Kentucky, um, which I know some of you have seen recently. And it shows the scale of how huge it really was, that Ark. Now, notice that Noah obeyed. So faith is believing and also obeying. And he also showed, at the end of that verse, he showed that the world was being judged. This is an account of judgment and what happens when we do wrong. But, as you know, it's been made into a fairy tale arc. As one of the, one of the exhibits at the Ark Encounter, my favorite one, in fact, is called the Fairy Tale Ark. And it shows a lot of children's books like this. I just found these two on Amazon, where 
everyone is smiling and happy and there are animals sticking out of giraffe sticking out of the top of the ark there and it doesn't talk about sin and judgment and destruction and that's what the flood was it wasn't a little happy children's story it wasn't a fairy tale ark so that's why i put the x through those uh, because obviously the ark was huge and this was a story an account of judgment not a fairy tale story that looks like that okay next we have the third hero of faith mentioned and that's abraham so the Hebrews writer says, by faith or believing, Abraham obeyed God's call to go to a place that God promised to give him. He left his own country, not knowing where he was to go. By faith or believing, he lived as a foreigner in the land that God promised to give him. Right, okay, so that could be a picture of maybe Abraham and his family on the road to go to a place that he didn't know where he was going. But he believed what God said. He believed that God promised to give him a land and he obeyed. He acted on what he believed. He obeyed by going and doing what God said. All right. And then the Hebrews writer goes on to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. So you remember um, God is often called the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Why is that? Well, because we have our family tree on the right side of the screen here. We have Abraham and his wife, Sarah, and then their son was Isaac, and he married Rebekah. And Isaac and Rebekah had a son named Jacob, and he married a woman named Rachel. So that's Abraham, the father of Isaac, Isaac, the father of Jacob. That's why God is often called the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What does the Hebrews writer says, say? He says, Abraham lived in tents with Isaac and Jacob, who had received that same promise from God of the land. He was looking forward. Abraham was looking forward to the city with firm foundations, the city designed and built by God. God was the architect and designer and builder of this city. And what city is that? That is the city to come. And that is the kingdom which may look something like that. I just thought that was a beautiful picture. So that is believing the faith chapter, which means believing and obeying what God says. And it also could be called the hope chapter because it's about the hope that we look forward to, which is the kingdom. 